<laughs> Hi, good evening. Hello. Hello, how are you today? How are you doing? How was your day? Um, I am happy and you? <laughs> yes, I'm really happy too because uh, you finished your module. This is our last day of classes. And yes, many, many good things coming up. Um, and wishing you the best for next year, next uh, year, new challenges. And I hope that you continue studying, that you continue next year. Will you? Did you send the documents already? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. And the rest of you? I hope that you have. So uh, today, as you know, is this the last day of classes. So we're going to finish our module today. And uh, we have a couple of um, things to continue practicing. We have a conversation and a couple of listening exercises that we are going to be developing. So let me share my screen. And uh, the content that we have for now is a uh, conversation. Um, in this conversation is people asking uh, to uh, someone to take a message or to leave it. So let's watch in the platform and then we're going to uh, discuss and practice. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so we listen to that conversation is basically to study the two verbs that are very, very similar in meaning. Which are those two verbs? Tell and ask. So those are mentioned here in the conversation and then we're going to um, practice a little bit more with those two verbs. Uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary? It's the same conversation, different drawings, but the same. Questions? No questions? Okay, I'm going to play the recording and I'm going to stop so that you can repeat after you hear, okay? Page 102, Exercise 7, Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A, Listen and Practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No. It's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Five, 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 
four o three one. Yes, Mr. Kale, I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so this is pretty easy, but I don't know if you have any question about the pronunciation of any of these words. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Fernando. Uh, why the pronunciation of uh, zero in this case is O? You can do that with numbers. Se puede, uh, cuando estamos um, uh, con los números, uh, dando el número de teléfono, número de calles, el cero se puede pronunciar como O. Any other question? No question, teacher. Okay. So okay. we're going to listen to the other three calls in part B. And then you have to write down the caller's name. So you're going to get the three names of the three callers. Okay, person pen ready? Page 102, exercise seven, part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the callers' names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee. I need this Page one. 102, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the caller's names. Good morning. Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Tom Lee from the Beijing office. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Good morning. Parker Industries. Hello. Is Ms. Graham there? I am afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Good morning. Parker Industries. Hi. Is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Did you get three names? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the name of the first caller? Tom Lee. Tom Lee, very good. Second? Susan Ms. Brown. Susan Brown, and the last one? Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Kelly, yes, that is correct. So you can check here, Tom Lee, Susan Brown, and Kelly. Okay. So um, I'll give you a chance for you to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. Remember that this one is in the material that you download from the platform and also in the PowerPoint presentation. So let's uh, stop sharing and I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to practice. Here we go.
Es la de ayer, ¿verdad? Sí, en la presentación de ayer. Ahí está esa conversación. Solo está cargando. Ahí está ya. Me dicen si la ven. Sí, ¿la pueden ver? Ahora sí, la podemos ver. Ok. Ahí está. ¿Quién empieza? Ok. Si gustan yo, pero ¿y quién más conmigo? ¿Sí? Ok, yo con... ¿Quién dijo mí? Yo. ¿Mí? Joana. Ok, <risa> entonces vamos a empezar nosotros, Joana. Yo seré la secretaria okay. y se será Mr. Cole. Eh, ok. Bye. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Grand Granha? Algo así como Granha, please. Mm. I'm sorry, she is not in. Can I, I take message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting in on, is on Friday at two thirty or thirty past two. Um, Friday night two thirty. And could you ask, could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Yes, Mr. Cole. I give. I will give Mr. Grandpa the message.
Okay, um, now that everybody's back again, um, con la pregunta que hacía um, Fernando, I guess, about the pronunciation of zero, is like this. So whenever we're giving personal information, um, we use numbers, right? So the number zero, can be pronounced as zero or as O. Okay, and that um, it's very common. Page six, exercise 11, personal information. Part A, listen and practice. Zero, O, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, uh, so remember that uh, zero can be pronounced as O, it's O H. So um, that's good to know and very important as well. Um, do you have any additional questions? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta que haya surgido? Uh -huh. eh, con eso que dijo de que el cero se pronuncia O de vez en cuando. Is correct, eh, say eh, one O O. Yes. Uh -huh. Is correct. Yes. Any other question? Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, te, eh, bueno, tengo una, una pregunta poniendo un paréntesis. Con, uh -huh. con referente a, a lo del, eh, bueno, hoy finaliza la, las clases, vea. Yes, correct. Entonces, quería saber, eh, con referente a lo del certificado, ¿cuándo estaría disponible en la plataforma para poderlo descargar? Fíjese que esto, para serle sincera, no tengo esa información, ya que pues he estado en otras modalidades estado en inglés para el trabajo y ya para este módulo me pasaron para acá con ustedes, eh, no sé cómo funciona, porque por ejemplo a ellos se les manda eh, un enlace a recursos humanos y ahí pues ellos lo descargan y se lo dan a sus empleados. Eh, a ustedes eh, creo que se los mandan por correo individualmente, pero déjenme confirmar eh, cuál es la modalidad con ustedes y le comento, mañana les escribo en el grupo. Sí, es que sí, sí. le hacía esa consulta porque en otros módulos que yo he estado con otros compañeros, lo, eh, cuando ya uno termina como la plataforma y, y, y a pocos días de finalizar las clases, ya, ya está en la plataforma disponible para descargarlo y ya, ya después lo, lo envían al correo. De sí, igual manera. Sí, es que con ustedes sí, así sí, se sí. ha funcionado usualmente, lo habilitan como que unos pocos días antes de finalizar, por el hecho de que a veces eh, como hay gente que a los días de haber empezado el curso ya terminaron la plataforma, descargan el certificado y ya no se conectan a clase, entonces es como una sí, sí, sí. manera de hacer que ustedes finalicen, ¿verdad? Este el módulo. Eh, cumpliendo con okay. todos los requisitos pues entonces eh, voy a consultar si, si ahora pues por ser eh, eh, a la, la forma en que se ha hecho porque acuérdense que también tuvimos que estar llenando las fechas con los viernes entonces han cambiado un poquito por, por este módulo ¿verdad? entonces puede ser que se los habiliten a partir de mañana igual yo voy a okay. consultar cómo se los van a estar habilitando eh, y les comento en el grupo, no más que me contesten. Ok, ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok, any other question? Mm, no more questions? Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, me imagino que igual en el grupo ellos confirmarían si todos pasamos o okay. qué. Lo que pasa es que como hace unos días mandaron un listado de los que nos faltaban como para llegar al menos al 80% de la asistencia. Uh -huh. Sí, uh, me imagino que um, creería yo que, bueno, ahí aparece el total, eh, podría revisarle mañana a Angélica, ¿verdad? Este, yes. Yo reviso a ver eh, cómo, cómo le quedó al final 
ya con la clase de ahora. Ok. Este, okay. Richard, yo eh, quizás como para ayudarle a reforzar lo que le está preguntando el compañero de las de las certificados, eh, yo me fijé que se aparece después, días después que terminan las, finalizan las clases. Porque ahí aparece el certificado, parece creo que una semana después de que finaliza la clase. Este... Para poderlo descargar. Me permite. Porque yo estaba no, en los la... anteriores y así. Y así este... me ha pasado. Fíjese que en el caso de Edson, como dice, es cierto, nos aparecía quizás si terminamos la plataforma una semana antes de que terminaran las clases, nos enviaban el certificado. Pero en, en la última vez que estuvimos, quiero ver, este mes anterior que estuvimos, eh, me fijé que varios compañeros ya no se conectaban ya en la última semana. Yo me imagino sí. yo que por ese motivo no se han atrasado. Exactamente. Los Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto. Sí, eso, eso para tiene que ver. De, de, para, hacer, para tener un poco más de responsabilidad en ese sentido. Uh -huh. Sí, eh, porque es, es bien común. Entonces, por eso es que anteriormente se debilitaba una semana antes de, de finalizar el módulo, pero ahora quizás por, por la... Eh, acuérdense que son programas con becas, entonces sí, por eso un poquito... Um, Uh, delicados en ese sentido, ¿verdad? Entonces hay como manera de presionar un poco, ya no lo están habilitando uh, tan uh, antes, ¿verdad? Porque como les digo, a veces ya lo, ta, termina la plataforma, lo descargo y ya, ¿verdad? Entonces anteriormente sí lo habilitaban unos días antes de que se terminara, pero siempre va que a medida los días van avanzando, a veces se terminaba con cinco participantes, Ajá. siete, uh -huh que ya la gente ya no se Ajá. conecta una vez agarran el certificado y ya no se conectan. Así es que, pues, creo que para evitar eso, eh, ahora lo están habilitando después. Pero sí, gracias, sí. Joana. Sí, sí, después, porque sí. yo la, el módulo anterior sí después me apareció, quizás como una semana después que terminó el, la clase. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, así que paciencia. Igual, ¿verdad? No está de más preguntar por si... Eh, eh, se escapó o algún eh, problema y no, no le resulta su certificado. Si sí, no está de más preguntar, si de repente ven que ya pasó eh, una semana y no se los habilitan, hay que preguntar. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, sí. ¿Any other question? Yeah, um, yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. Vaya, eh, en este módulo. <coughs> al 100% por así decirlo entonces sí me costó bastante por cuestión de trabajo he estado muy 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 ocupada mi pregunta es si yo me quiero inscribir nuevamente para este módulo se puede o sea repetirlo mm, fíjese que hasta donde yo tengo entendido no sino que el, el participante como que se tiene que preparar por sus propios medios, ¿verdad? Ya sea que pague un mes en la misma academia o en otra y al siguiente le hacen una evaluación para ponerla al módulo que seguía, por ejemplo, intermedio. Pero realmente eh, sería de que um, trate, bueno, si lo pasa y usted siente que va deficiente, Acuérdense que tienen el enlace donde están todas las clases. El enlace que dice YouTube, ahí está la playlist de todas sus clases del módulo. Ahí le van a aparecer las 16 clases. No tienen que andar buscando, abriendo todos los videos para ver cuál es el de su clase, sino que ese enlace de YouTube, ahí están todas las clases. Si usted necesita volverlas a, a escuchar, repasar, ahí están. Porque a veces sucede que uno pasa, pero dice, sí, pasé, pero me siento deficiente, siento que me afectó el haber faltado eh, tanto. Y entonces para eso, pues, ustedes pueden um, ponerse como meta, ¿verdad? Máximo que van a descansar unas sus dos o tres semanas antes de empezar el otro nivel, le da chance. Sí. Gracias. Ok. Any other question? Okay, um, if there are no more questions, we're going to continue with this video. And this is about the birth with tell and ask to 
uh, to deliver to leave messages and they are very similar in meaning. So let's watch the video and then we're going to practice this topic. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay, uh, it, this is what you already watched on the video. Um, do you have any question about this topic or the explanation? No questions? Uh, miss, uh, uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, ¿Cómo diría en inglés for, uh, para decir ellos? Es de ellos. Ellos. Sí, por ejemplo, eh, lapicero es de ellos. ¿De ellos? ¿De sí, ellos? Ajá, el posesivo, de ellos. De ellos. De ellos, ajá. Any other question? Teacher, la gramática de, eh, de as plus person plus two, eh, ya no pude copiar lo demás. Ah. Let me... Um... plus two plus the request. This one, let the ask. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, that it is. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Anything else before we continue? Okay, so as you see, it's uh, basically um, the same. So you, you first ask um, if it is um, for a statement, you add please at the beginning and then the verb 
and in este caso tell, and then the person, a quien, verdad? Tell her, dile a ella. Uh, dile a él es him. Okay, so esos son los object pronouns. Okay, uh, por ejemplo, eh, ¿cómo diría? Dile a ellos. ¿Cuál es? Tell them. them. Tell them. Uh -huh. Tell them. Tell them. Uh, so, ajá, uh -huh. ahí se usa el, el object pronoun, que es object pronoun me, you, him, her, um, you, and them, right? So, ahí se utilizan la persona o los object pronouns. En este caso de los tell, um, está el that entre paréntesis, quiere decir que puede usarlo o puede omitirlo y no hay ningún problema ni cambio en significado. A eso se refiere y por eso está entre paréntesis. Se puede omitir y no hay ningún cambio eh, en significado. Eh, luego, um, la estructura abajo para el request es básicamente la misma, solo que en vez de tell decimos el verbo ask. It's very, uh, es también um, similar en significado, solo que si yo digo a, dile a fulano, tell her, tell them, eso dile, uh -huh. es una statement, right? Ahora, <ríe> si yo lo estoy pidiendo, entonces uh, utilizaré ask, pídele a él. Pídele a él que me llame esta tarde. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Estoy pidiendo un favor. Ok. And a statement is like a, casi que una orden, ¿verdad? Pero pues lo hacemos utilizando please, could, o would al principio para que sea más um, cortés. Uh -huh. No una orden así como um, yo te mando, eres mi esclavo o whatever. So, hacerlo de manera cortés, agregando un please, uh, could you or would you al, al principio. Um, any question? Okay, if there are no questions, we have this exercise. You can work on it on your um, notebooks if you have not printed the material and the exercises and scramble the messages and then we're going to compare. Uh, la primera y la última son oración y las últimas eh, dos son, uh, perdón, de las dos a las cinco son pregunta. Y arriba pues acuérdense que ahí está el grammar focus, ahí está la cajita donde se pueden ir igual guiando, viendo cómo va la estructura para formar lo que está ahí, ¿verdad? Ya sea oración o pregunta con las palabras que tenemos ahí en desorden. So you have to put them in the correct order. I'm going to give you some time and then we're going to check your answers.
Finished? Finished teacher. Finished teacher. Okay, uh, volunteer for number one. Me. Okay, Joanna. Uh, please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. Excellent, thank you so much, that is correct. Volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. Thank you, Jancy. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12 o'clock? Excellent, that is correct. Thank you so much, Jancy. Uh, volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Me. Thank you, Alejandro. Could you could you tell tell Amy that is the dance the, that the per does sorry sorry that the per that the dance performance is tonight? Okay, let's see. Excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much, Alejandro. You Number question, four. Me okay. teacher. Thank you. Um, could you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Excellent. Thank you so much, Carla. That is correct. Uh, number five, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much, Nancy. Uh, could you ask Noriko to meet me at the stadium? Excellent, that is correct. Thank and you. finally, number six, a volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Please ask, ask Jason to bring the tickets to the rock concert. Excellent, that is correct. Thank you so much for the responses here. You were doing an excellent job. We're going to continue afterwards with the listening exercise, but first we're going to check attendance. Let's see. Amilcar Edgardo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Angelica Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Celia del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. David Alberto. Present miss. Thank you. Edson Stani. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvira Lorenza. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Iris Elena. Iris Elena. Joana Jessica. Perdón, Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Jasmine. Carla Yasmin. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Ruth Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jancy Astrid. And here, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, um, we will continue with the listening exercise that we have there. 
So let me share again. Okay, for the listening exercise, you have this chart. Okay. Um, este es el que tienen, um, pues uh, si lo descargaron de la plataforma y está impreso, pues pueden usar ese o pueden hacerlo en su cuaderno. Um, tomar el mensaje. So we're going to listen to the phone calls to Mr. Lynn and Mrs. Carlson. And we have to write the, the missing information. We have to complete these forms, okay? So let me know when you're ready so I can play the audio. And you have to complete the missing information. You have to complete the messages. Let me know when ready. Ready? I'm ready to Ready. Ready. Okay. okay, let's complete the information, remember. To Mr. Y aquí van a completar a quién era el mensaje, a Mr. K. Y así toda la información que falta. <clears throat> Page 104, Exercise 11, Listening. Taking a message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lynn and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. 1. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lynn, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lynn is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 718-555-3290. 718-555-3290? That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 2. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-1187. Extension 313. 914-555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay, I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. Are you going to listen one more time? One more time, teacher. Please. One more time, please. Page 104, Exercise 11, Listening. Taking a Message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lynn and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. 1. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lynn, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lynn is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 
718-555-3290. That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 2. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-1187, extension 313. 914-555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. Did you complete all the information? So, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay. Let's see what you should have. Okay. So, for the first one, it was to Mr. Mr. Lin. Lin from Mr. Lin from, from mm, Mrs. Paris. 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 Mrs. Paris. Mrs. Um, Paris. Of City? City Call Center. Uh huh. City Call Center. Person. And the phone number? 718 555 Correct. Good. And what was the message? The call is before 3 30. Mm -hmm. Call Mrs. Paris before 3.30 this afternoon. Yeah. Uh-huh. And number two, it was to Wendy? Mr. Carson. Mr. Carson. Wendy Carson. Wendy, Wendy Carson. Carson. Mm -hmm. Wendy Carson from? From Kent National Bank. From Sam in a national Sam. bank. Mm-hmm. And the phone number? 914-555-1187. And what was the message? Uh, First National Bank. Call Sam. Uh, call Sam uh -huh. Bank. Call Sam at the bank. Okay. <laughs> yes, that was uh, pretty much the most important part that we needed to develop here in the main section. Um, and also the grammar part. So then you can, um, I know that all of you finished the platform and all the exercise here. So um, thank you so much to you. Um, for your participation and the willingness to uh, learn every day and take the opportunity. Thank you, Edson, to you too, and all of you. So I hope to see you next year and that you continue studying and reach your goal of becoming bilingual. Thank you for passing the share. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome. Thank you so much for being here and see you around. I wish you the best holidays ever enjoy your christmas and uh, see you around yes, we must do <laughs> thank okay. you Happy bye. thank you thank you bye bye